for question number 3, you start off with a fraction, 7 over 20, and notice that the answers, the answer choices are in the decimals. So what we are going to do in this question is um, to change fractions to decimals. Change fractions to decimal. And again, let me make a note on the side. So when we have a fraction, the top is called a numerator, the bottom is called a denominator. But let me just write it as top over bottom. When you have a fraction like this, to change, to fraction, uh, to change this fraction to decimal, we can just divide the top number, divide by whatever the number that we have on the bottom. And to divide, we are going to use the long division. And to set up the long division, draw the long division symbol, and put the first number inside. The first number is always going to be the top number, so put the number on the top inside. And the number um, on the bottom, the second number, outside. B -O, bottom, outside. So um, this is pretty much the steps for uh, so to change fractions to decimals. Let's take a look. We have 7 over 20. So to do this, um, we can just write this as 7 divided by 20. So, and then we are going to do the long division. 7 is the first number, 7 is the number on the top, so put it inside. And then 20 is the uh, second number, 20 is the number on the bottom, put it outside. And here we go. First of all, 20 does not go into 7, 20 goes into 7 zero times. So I will begin off by putting a zero right there. But of course, we want to continue, right? So let me make another note on the side. So another note. The number 7, I can write the number 7 as 7.0. I, I can add a decimal point and add a zero. I can have as many zeros as I would like after the decimal point, And then it still it will be the same value. So for this one, I can write this as 7.0. And then, line up the decimal point for the answer. So let's do that right now already, before we um, miss that later on. So put a 0, 7.0, and then on the top, also put a decimal point, line up with the decimal point. Now, we can look at this question as 20 and 70. 20 goes into 70. 3 times. Put the 3 right there. 3 times 20, we get 60. And to do long, uh, long division, you subtract. So uh, 0 minus 0 is 0. 7 minus 6 is 1. But we have a remainder, right? So we can keep going. And to keep going, again, I can add as many zero as I would like after the decimal point. So I can write 7.00, and that's actually the same as just the 7. And let me put a 7, let me put a 0 right here. So I'll bring down this 0 here. And that will allow us to look at this question as 20 and 100. 20 goes into 100 exactly 5 times. 5 times 20 is 100, and then when you subtract, 100 minus 100, you get 0. And this is the remainder. When the remainder is 0, that's the answer. Okay? So we have the answer is uh, 0 0.35. And take a look of the answer choices. Notice that the digits 3 and 5 repeats like it's in choice A, choice C, and choice D. So you have to be really careful when you select your answer. And make sure the decimal point is correct. We have 0 0.35, that's our calculation, that's what we got from our, our calculation, and that's answer choice C.